All right, everyone, and welcome to the Incredible Adventures of Van Helsing 2. My name is John, and this is the beta of the game. It comes out next month, sometime in May, so if you want to check out like the trailers and stuff, I'll leave a link in the description to the Steam page, so you can just watch it, pre-order. So a little bit about me and this game. I played the first one a little while back, and I really enjoyed it because... I do generally enjoy RPG and or MMO games and honestly the f day I got it or the first one I like no life this game for like nine hours straight and just beat it um, yeah good times so this is the beta and I hope you guys are en gonna enjoy the series if you are give this video a like I'm gonna try to get as much as I can done in the beta so just remember that things are going to be fixed, as always. I have not played it yet. I'm just going to show you the menu, everything. Uh, looks pretty standard from last time. I'm going to be playing on pretty much max settings. There's really not much to do. Um, that's just personal preference. So, what we do is create a character. Alright, so, we're back. Sorry about that. Um, since this is in beta... We can't do the normal mode. All we can do is veteran. And that's okay because when the full game comes out, I'll be doing a complete start. So I don't know how long. Um, if you have the first Incredible Adventures of Van Helsing, then I think you can import the character. But just for like reference, uh, I'm just going to choose one of the default ones they give you. I think I chose some things similar to this last time so we're gonna try that one and we're gonna name him yeah we're just gonna name him John Law okay so apparently we're starting at level 30 we're just gonna do it on the default normal when the full game comes out I'll probably raise it up in difficulty so we're just gonna start it up and yeah, let's get into the storyline. I want to see how far I can get into the game before, well, beta. So, enjoy! My name is Van Helsing, and I'm a monster hunter. You could call it a twist of fate, that I came to Borgovia to help the monsters who once ruled this land. Although it took a while to reach my destination, at least the detour gave me an opportunity to explore the wilderness. At times, I was really grateful that I had my companion, Lady Katarina, at my side. I wouldn't want her to hear that, though. For a ghost, she can be remarkably vain and murderous. Borgovia is a fascinating land, at least from a hunter's perspective. Also, this is the only place where the ink, the dark material of creation, leaks through the cracks of the world. A long time ago, my father defeated Borgovia's immortal vampire lords and entrusted the land to a group of genius scientists. During our travels, we slowly began to suspect that it must have been a mistake. When we entered the dark city of Borgova, it became evident that the new age of enlightenment had only brought chaos and mayhem. I did what I had to do. I found my father's underground lair and gathered the members of the Resistance, the rebellious mortals and immortals, fighting together. And how we fought. It was glorious. We battled impossible creatures. We repelled tides of inhuman invaders. And I wouldn't rest until I defeated the last mad scientist, Professor Fulmigati. He even had a proper doomsday automaton. Honestly, it was a hunter's dream come true. But as it turns out, winning the grand battle sometimes opens up a brand new adventure. All right, so that was pretty interesting. And before we start, once we get in, I'm gonna be checking the settings again. I want to see if there's a V-Sync option. All right, so... Now that's what I call an explosion. It blew us straight into the tunnels, Van Helsing. Van Helsing? No, don't you die on me. I'm too young to haunt the same place for eternity. 
That's touching, Katarina. Don't give up. You have just defeated your first villain. You have so many things ahead of you. I'm not dying. I'm just stuck. What is this? Who are you? Stay back! Move aside. I'm warning you. You're powerless for the moment. Please move aside. That was fun, Katarina. What's going on? Who is this? Is it a man? A troublesome intruder. He just appeared out of nowhere and... And humbly gave my assistance to Van Helsing, the great liberator of Borgova. Do I know you? Hurry up. This structure may collapse at any moment. How rude. What kind of savior does that? <laughs> That's the least of our concerns. He's right. The building is crumbling. We must leave. Alright. So, everything looks a little bit different from the first time I've played this. But, let's go to the options. And... I saw a little bit of screen tearing. But... Did not see any... No V-Sync options, that's okay. But anyway, um, I'm going to treat this like a walkthrough, so if there's any cutscenes, I'll try to be quiet during them, so you guys can enjoy it as much as I am. And... Yeah. Let's just say, for the most part, I know what I'm doing. So, from what I've heard... Um, in the second game is that there's gonna be a lot more loot which is always good for RPG players it's just a lot of fun gives you more end game stuff for the most part and let's see is there a way to check you made it out good you will find an ink gate at the end of the next hallway it will take you to your hold seat. on First, I want to know. And perhaps you could explain why you are so helpful. I always find that suspicious in a masked creature. The mask hides deformations and the scars, the reminders of years of captivity in a lab. You are a test subject? Fulmigadi's favorite. Once a powerful being, now only a husk of my former self. Until your heroic deeds brought chaos to the prison. And so I escaped. You're doing this out of gratitude? And revenge. Though the professor is dead, his heritage and his allies still remain. This tortured soul wants them to suffer. So you're proposing? I must take my leave. We'll talk more later. All right. Sure he'll return. Let's go. That was interesting. Um. Wow, we're getting a ton of stuff for on the start. So this um, it gives you default stuff because we're level thirty already, and that's the only option we could choose. But before we do that, I want to check: is there an option to stand in place while attacking? Uh, let's see. Drink health is Q and W. That's all I really need to know. Hold position is shift. Let me see if there's a space. Load power up. Alright, so that's generally how I like playing these kind of games. Let's see, we go up the elevator. Mindless mechanical beast. Holy. I've had enough of you. Die. Okay. Yeah, I remember that. I can't do that. Seems pretty easy so far. Hmm. Let's 
see. Any required levels of 31. So, if you like RPG games, I'm pretty sure you're going to like this one because there's a lot of killing. It's kind of a little toned down version of other RPG games I may not mention. Look, humans, they must have used the ink gate too. Now they're trapped here like us. Good. I'm hungry. Uh oh. But um, if you pre-order it now, you get a couple of bonuses on Steam and as well as it's a little bit cheaper right now compared to if you bought it sometime in May. So once again, I'll leave a link in the description. All right, what is that? Oh, okay. So this game is not just completely running and killing stuff. There are occasionally puzzles and like tower defense sort of things, or at least in the first one there was. So hopefully we get to run into a couple of those things. And yeah, that might be interesting. I'm assuming these are one, two, three keys. That's our special uh, right click. Oh wow, we leveled up already. That's pretty quick. I'll disable the device and you can go. Be ready. Ready for what? A storm is coming, Van Helsing. You may find that your work is far from done. Then is it ever? Fulmigadi's army has withdrawn. Somebody is calling them back. They are still a chaotic mess, but they will regroup. Somebody wants to see you fall. Nothing new about that. An alliance is what you need. This tormented body is no longer able to fight. But my powers allow me to discover secrets. I can be your master spy. And you can let me have retribution. But if we're to be allies, at least tell me your name. A name? Yes. I used to have one. But that person was killed a long time ago. This wretched ruin of a man standing here is merely called Prisoner Seven. I'm not really sure he why impolite, mysterious stranger ever. And that whole doom and gloom attitude, can you believe it? I don't know. You might be right. Something's up. I can feel it. People enjoy using the number seven when referring to stuff. Alright, so let's check out our thing. Assuming... Yeah. I guess they want us to use dexterity. Because maybe it's the higher one. Alright. Reputation. This is like your skills. Um, I don't think you get to use all of them, even if you max out the game. But, let's see. These are pretty important. So, attack speed. Oh, these are ones learned already. Okay. On the other game is on the other side, I believe. Huh. Well, we don't need this one. Sure. All right, let's see, what did he give? Nope, not an upgrade. The secret lair. But what I was saying is, I don't know why they keep using the number seven. It's kind of it all seems so simple. Interesting. Defeat the mad scientist and ride into the sunset. But sometimes victory leaves you buried under the ruins. I was lucky. Someone saved me, 
For a change, I'm not the only mysterious stranger in town. But weeks have passed, and the metropolis of weird science is still waiting for its own savior. Outlaws and escaped monsters roam the streets. The resistance is too weak, so someone else decided to take matters into his own hands. General Harker, the military genius of the city, came back from his exile. He gathered the rest of the disorganized army. His forces are a chaotic mess of weird machines. So far, but they're slowly clearing out the streets. He might not have seen eye to eye with Fulmigati, but he regards me and the Resistance as a threat to the city, a coalition of monsters and troublemakers. As a hunter, I won't tolerate others hunting me. I'm ready to fight. I have an underground lair, new soldiers, and my new mysterious ally. I'm quite used to unlikely companions, but Prisoner 7 is the most unusual so far. A former test subject of the mad scientists. Master of the ink. He's certainly helpful, but I don't know what to make of him. Now he can prove his worth. Harker's troops are on the move. They want to control the foundries so he can build more war machines. We will stop them in the sizzling, clanking heart of Borgova. Let the battle begin. I like how they did that cutscene. It was unique in its way. But so far, I'm liking this. The story doesn't make much sense, but I get it. Katarina, shouldn't you help me out with this? What? I have this strange feeling of deja vu. Van Helsing, General Harker has deployed the Grand Mortars. They're bombarding you with rift shells. Each shell opens an ink gate, so his soldiers have already got through your defenses. And why should we trust you, you enigmatic, faceless man? Your humble ally is here to help you, as he promised. You must clear this whole area before they run you down. How annoying is that? I know this is a closed beta, but there's a lot of cutscenes. Alright, so our goal is to pretty much just clear house for a while and not die. So I don't know how many other people have walked through Let's Play playthroughs on YouTube so far, but... If there's none, or very few, then, well, I hope you guys are enjoying this one. I'm trying my best. Oh, the ally. Alright, so, I guess we have to go to those markers on the map. Please clear them out. I don't know if there's a time limit to do this, or just do it. Pretty sure that was a skill at one point. Oh, Jesus. Viva la resistance! Just have to clear everything. Wait, with us. Huh! Charge! Oh, that's what it does. It sure gives you a lot of gold at the start. I don't know if I'll be using any of it because, well, we're just like in a large fight right now. So if you don't play many RPG games, generally when you look at items, green means good, red means it's a downgrade. Uh, what does this four do? I'm just testing all my skills right now. Not really sure. I see. That's what five does. Fear not, lads. Matt Helping is here. 
collateral them. It's always nice. Ooh, a trophy. Ugh. DPS is kind of important. <laughs> Alright, so we have a couple of more things on the map to head towards. I think this is the right way. Is there an option to make your map a little bit bigger? Um, map? Wait. Oh, wait. Opacity mean is the other one. Never mind. It's. Nope. You can't change it. You can only make it darker or brighter, sorta. Oh, champion. I don't think I really needed to slow them, but. Or stop time. I think I'm confident enough to just kill them without it, but it helps. Ugh, we keep finding items that are like downgrades in DPS, which is not generally what I want. Kite. Oh, wrong way. I can't see. Oh damn. Alright, so a couple more. I'm not sure how long this beta is, but I'll play it until the end. Um, regardless when the full game comes out, I'm gonna be doing a full walkthrough on that anyway. So I'm just pretty excited to be playing this. It's a fun game. Alright, so there's one more at the bottom. We start off with all of these bonuses, which is pretty nice. So, one more, I believe. We should probably get out of the magic thingy. Try to lure them back if they follow me, just to get a little bit of extra help. Kill the weak ones first. Oh jeez! Ow! Ah! I'll try to, hold on. Um, protection up, but it drops everything else. Oh I'm my god! I'm just a simple ghost, Van Helsing. But you might want to use your occult abilities to jump back to the commander. Nice. Okay, so the ink gates are essentially waypoints and map. Yeah. Impeccable timing, Hunter. As always, I have a message for you. Count Vlado sends his regards, but he had to leave in a hurry to destroy the Force Walls. You are in charge. Oh, me? Last time I checked, vampires couldn't stand daylight. Oh, he is a modern vampire, defying superstition and spontaneous combustion at the same time. I wouldn't worry for him. I haven't seen daylight for a while in this smoke. Anyway, General Harker is busy preparing.